Oh my god, I love the roses. Um, I'm so happy to be here, you guys. I'm happy to be at Flappers. I'm happy to be in California, period. Um, I moved here recently because I heard that y'all needed more people. So, I, I heard there was still a little bit of water left. I wanted to see if I could do something about that. So, sort of do my part. But I love it. I love California. The only thing that gets on my nerves is people in California can be very smug about their health. I told a woman that I was from New Orleans, and she was like, Oh my god, I love that city, but I could never live there. It's so unhealthy. <laughs> Everybody is vaccinated. <laughs> you know, I get it. Like, California is really healthy, you know. It has a lot of hot yoga and cold-pressed juices, but you know what else it has? The second highest rate of syphilis infection in the nation. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! But when did California become ground zero for old-timey diseases that are supposed to be extinct? It's syphilis, it's measles, it's tuberculosis, which is also consumption. Right? So basically, like, if it's anything that a prostitute could have had in a Dostoevsky novel, it's a problem in California today. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that people in California aren't healthy, they're just picky eaters. <laughs> yeah, I might be going blind from syphilis, but it has been years since I've had processed sugar. <laughs> I come from like a really conservative background, and so I was excited to come to California and expected to find like liberals and progressives. But there's a lot of people who are like pretty intolerant. Lactose intolerant, gluten intolerant. <laughs> They're also very age intolerant. Like in LA, you can't have any gray hairs. I mean, you can, but you might as well be five pounds overweight. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do both. That's my goal. <laughs> but I, I do, you know, fun fact about syphilis. <laughs> it used to be called the genius disease. <laughs> like all the cool kids had it, Oscar Wilde, Van Gogh, uh, Friedrich Nietzsche had it, and they were so smart, maybe because of syphilis. Yeah, no, hear me out, like I know, I know, it's like, oh, it's, a, it's a high cost to pay, but what happens is for some reason, <laughs> syphilis like for 10 to 20 years when you first get it, it makes you crazy with creative thoughts and then you go totally insane. So maybe that's what happened to Johnny Depp. Maybe Johnny has syphilis, I don't know. I definitely didn't get Mordecai, I just... Um, I, uh, I like to go online and find new things that are wrong with me. But it, it's totally easy because I'm a woman, so the internet is filled with all the ways that I'm failing at life. Like, I think that that's actually what the internet was invented for. It's like, let me mansplain your problems to you. But I recently discovered, um, I think I'm face blind. Yeah. <laughs> Do one of you think you're face blind? <laughs> no? Okay. Oh, back there? You, no, you actually are. Okay, that's that's fair. Um, yeah, it's an actual condition that, that people have where you have trouble distinguishing between different faces. Obviously the hostess. Yeah, right, yes, yes, Crystal has it. Crystal, again, like you, has it for real. I think I also have this condition, and this is why I don't recognize people sometimes. My friends think I just don't give a shit. <laughs> I see that, and I understand that it has a name and a face, but I'm just much more interested in this and what it has to say. <laughs> but it sucks, though, because like when you have face blindness, as we've determined that I do, um, there's, <laughs> despite what my friends say, uh, there's no kind of like technology you can get to help you, right? There's no glasses for face blindness. But like, even if there were, like, I feel like I'm so far gone now, I couldn't get like the cute little kind that like Hollywood uses to tell you this character would be really hot if she just loosened up. I have to get the heavy, thick kind that Law and Order uses to tell you this character is the child molester. <laughs> I am not the child molester. I am Helen Krieger, and it has been so fun being with you guys. It's welcome back, Crystal.